Guys, what's up? It's Dakota from The Benefits Boss. If you're looking for the best health, or health insurance in Texas, check this out. Now, a lot of times when you're looking for health insurance, it's either because you lost a plan, you're looking for something better, or something crazy went down, right? So let's head over to the computer and let me show you on the back end what's really going down, right? So let's go check this out. This is someone who lives in our great state of Texas, right? 75703, okay? Someone in their 30s and 40s. The first thing you wanna look at is what's your expected income for uh, 2024, okay? Because what's happening is the government is giving the hookup depending on how much you make, right? If you guys have had insurance with work or like somewhere else or someone's been paying for it, I don't know if you guys know this, but insurance is like really, really pricey, right? It can get really expensive. For example, this is someone in their um, someone in their forties, and plans like with not even like sometimes the best plans can be. I don't know if you guys see these prices on the screen, but full price can be really, really expensive. The most expensive plans are let's just go to page five here and see do you guys see these prices 666 dollars or 664 dollars a month for someone now it's with blue cross it looks decent zero dollar deductible but you always want to pay attention to this max out of pocket right this is what you we you eventually have to pay before they pick up everything right the max out of pocket is really important because if you go to a hospital nowadays and you spend like three hours there, it can be like a 20, 30, 40 grand bill, right? So you hit this nine like really fast, right? But because insurance is so pricey, the government's trying to give the hookup. So you always want to go based off the household members, like who you file your taxes with, right? So like if you're married or you have kids, they might not be going on a plan. <clears throat> but they still count under the household, right? So that's important. Um, the second thing is the household income. So this is what's called your adjusted gross income. This is how much you're filing after deductions, right? Like what you're reporting as income to the government, okay? So let's say your income is like 30 grand, okay, for the year. Let's say in 24, you're gonna make 30,000. Plans, let's go back to the lowest cost. Plans are gonna be a lot lower, right? Like potentially as in lower as in free, right? Let's check out, we'll see what the government did. At 30 income, the government's gonna slide this person $500 a month towards their insurance, okay? Which is really good. They're gonna get like $500 hookup monthly from the government. Now, money's not free, okay? They take this money times 12 for the yearly amount that's about six grand, right? That now becomes taxable income. So instead of showing 30,000 at the end of the year, they're gonna show like 36,000, 37,000. And they just pay taxes on it. So it's not 100% free, but it's definitely a hookup. It's better than paying five or $600 a month, right? Like it's just crazy expensive. Um, so now I wouldn't recommend doing these plans by itself. A couple things we're always gonna check or that you guys need to check as you guys are shopping, is one, make sure that your doctors are a network. Not all doctors take every plan. So we wanna check doctors, we do that for you. The second thing is prescriptions. This is kind of crazy, but most generic drugs are good, but some, each, each insurance care has a different list. It's called the formulary on what they accept as a prescription, right? Like it's a long list and we do this for you, but let's check out this PDF, it's lovely, right? These are all different prescription drugs that this carrier takes and so we wanna match it up and make sure that it's affordable. So the deal with this tax credit is it typically goes up, it depends on the county, but about every 10,000 in income, it's about a hundred, not hundred thousand, it's about a hundred dollars a month in tax credit. You see that tax credit going down about a hundred bucks each time. Now the tax credit or the, it's gonna cut off probably around 80, yeah, eight dollars there. It's usually about 80 to like a hundred K, let's put a hundred K in there, uh, where we kind of lose the tax credit completely. Now, so the first thing is income, if your income's in the ranges of like probably 20,000 a year 
to like 60, 70, marketplace is probably the best place to go. The second reason is if we have some health stuff going down. The good things about these plans, as long as you match it up with the doctors and the prescriptions, is it covers all pre-existing conditions. So what is pre-existing? It's a big word, but pre-existing is any condition you got before you got the insurance, okay? This is really important because if you need a surgery done and you get on some plans, some plans won't cover it, right? Which can get scary. These plans will. Now, you do have to pay a lot, like it's like nine grand, um, but at least it'll be covered. The also kind of cool thing too is if your income is a little, I don't want to say on the lower side, but just lower, like 20, 30,000, the government will actually help subsidize your max out of pocket as well. Saying, hey, 9,000 is like really crazy to cover. Uh, they're going to lower it down to $1,800 on some plans, right? Depending on what you put your income as, right? So for people of folks like 20 to 60K, 70K, definitely marketplace. And then we usually supplement these maxes if something crazy goes down so you have money there to meet that. Because the worst thing is if you get rushed to a hospital and they're like, hey, Dakota, pay us 9K. If you don't have 9K, that can get scary, right? Like I do payment plans, it's a whole thing. You don't want the stress while you're going through something like super terrible, right? Like that's not fun. So definitely marketplace, depend on income and medical stuff. Let's say your income's like over 100,000, like your things are going good, you're doing well. Some of the best private plans outside of marketplace for health insurance is United Healthcare. I'm sure you guys heard of United before. They're pretty good. Um, United made this really pretty decent plan. A lot of people get frustrated with deductibles and copays. Like sometimes you feel like you get no benefit with the insurance, you know, because they're never paying out. United heard that and they zeroed out their deductible and their copays. Okay, like they put a zero to it. So all the numbers you guys see on the screen. Not what you pay, it's what they pay, as in United pays, after the network has discounted it, right? So for example, like 125 towards wellness, um, lab work in there, x-rays, MAMs, a computer's about to die here, EKGs, all the stuff, right? Prescriptions, hospitalization coverage. It's kind of a lot, they cover up to $2 million a year. And so the way this guy works is I'll pull up a quick bill. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this before if like you've ever been to a doctor, had something happen, right? This is like a bigger bill, but just to kind of show you like what goes down, right? Like hospital, someone had hospitalization, lab work, chemo. The bill's crazy. I mean, hospital bills are no joke, guys. 54 grand, PPO kicks in. This is the whole reason you want a PPO is they negotiate the bill for you. They knocked off 34,000. There's no deductible, so they paid out 20 grand worth of benefits. We didn't have to meet like nine grand before they started paying, and the copay was $300. Now, it's not gonna be $300 every time, but what it's saying is that you pay last. So you, you guys know when you go to a doctor, you pay, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 bucks, whatever it is. On plans like these, you don't pay anything at the doctor. You pay last. So they just send it over to the network, insurance pays out, and they just send you a bill with, the copay, right? So these are some good plans if you're healthy and you make a little more money and you need a better plan. We build you a custom plan regardless, but these are two options that are good. Here at the Benefits Boss, we do our best to make sure people have like an awesome experience. Like we build you a plan, we find the doctors, we find the prescriptions, we match it up. Um, that's really our job, right? To make sure that people are being taken care of. So if you need help, go and schedule a time online and we'll get you hooked up. But guys, it's been Dakota from The Benefits Boss. I hope this brought you guys some value. Uh, make sure you guys are protected. It's a crazy world out there and we'll see you guys later. Bye.